Hello, uh, this is uh, the first part of Lab 2, which is about building a circuit, a series resistive circuit, to confirm Kirchhoff's voltage law, which says that the voltage across the battery is the sum of the voltage drops across the two resistors. As you see here, the circuit diagram shows how the connections are made. The positive side of the battery is connected to one resistor, in this case the 1 kilo ohm, measured to be 980 ohms. The other terminal of that resistor is connected to one terminal of resistor R2, the 220 ohms, but measured to be 217. And the other terminal of resistance R2 goes back to the negative of the battery. So this is how you should build your circuit, by following the circuit diagram. So in this case, as you see, the positive side of the, of the battery, which in this case is the pin 3 of the voltage regulator, which provides us 5 volts, is connected to a resistor, or in this case the 1 kilo ohm. The other terminal is connected to resistance R2, and the other terminal of R2 is connected to the negative of the power supply because the blue line is the negative and the red line is the positive of the power supply. As you see through the connections here and the connections on this side, all the blue lines are connected together and all the red lines are connected together. So showing what the voltages are, in this case we see that it's about 502 volts. In this case, of course, you will see that when I use the battery, based on the table that I have on that template, uh, the voltages were lower, about 487 or so, um, because the battery was weak. And even when I used the old, the old uh, voltage regulators, they provide me with a lower voltage also. Obviously, the, the misuse of them, uh, the abuse of them led to these voltage drops, right? And so, and again, when measuring the voltage across R1, we see about 4.1 volt. And when we measure the voltage across R2, we see about 0.91 volt. And theoretically, if you add the two voltages together, you will find the voltage of the battery. Now, as far as measuring the current, uh, I, I move this connector to the milliampere connection of the, the meter, right, for measuring current. I set it up to uh, about 20 milliamps, just in case. It may be higher, in which case I would have to move it to a high range. Uh, and if it's lower, lower than 2 milliamps, then I could probably get more resolution, better resolution with the 2 milliamp range. So in this case, to insert the ammeter in series with the, the components, I'm going to disconnect the 1K resistor. Since the current I know is going to be positive flowing clockwise, so that means the red terminal of the meter would be connected to this terminal of the resistor and the other one would be connected to this terminal. They were connected together before, but I broke the connection to insert the meter. And it says it's 4.15 milliamps, right? 4.15 milliamps. So hopefully, when you divide the voltage of the battery, divided by the equivalent resistance of the circuit, which in this case is the sum of R1 and R2, that should give you exactly that number. And in which case, of course, that means we verified Ohm's law. We verified what the equivalence, uh, equivalent resistance of two resistors in series. And we verified Kirchhoff's voltage law. And uh, just to show you uh, a multi-SIM version of that series circuit. Of course, in this case, I used the values that at the time when I used the battery, the voltage uh, at the battery was 4.88 volts or so, 
Uh, and so the numbers that you will see from uh, from multisim may be uh, different if you had uh, plugged in 502 volts instead, right? And so it all depends on what you do. Um, you decide, you make a choice, right? So you decide which set of numbers you want to, to provide, to use in the calculations. Just remember that in the calculations, you have to use the values that were measured, right? For example, the VB that you use to obtain the current calculation of current has to be such that VB is whatever the measured value is. R1 and R2, same thing. Use the, 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 the 980 and 217. And the reason we do that is because we want you to be very close to what the measured values would be, right? Instead of just having nominal values in general.